Hey what's up David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to another video tutorial. And today we're going to be making the Doctor Who Dalek Eye effect that was used in the New Year's special episode. So I'll leave a description in the description box for the time frame and what episode it was due to copyrights and stuff. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a lot of small details here. We've got circles, we've got more circles, we've got a blur, and uh, pretty easy stuff. It's just a lot of steps. So let's get to it. So I'm going to make a new comp, and we'll call this Dalek I. 1280 by 720, 30 frames, 5 seconds, hit it. Okay. Uh, we're going to make first make a black solid hit ok and we're just going to shut the eye off and we've got a, I've got a photo here and um, I just downloaded this from the internet so I just drag it here and just position this something like that so we're going to draw a mask on the black solid so hit control and shift for a perfect circle and there we go and set the subtract and we just want to move it up a bit scale it up a bit and hit F feather it out maybe 15 pixels like that and we want to animate the image so if we come over here I'm just going to drag it across and hit P, hit the stopwatch, move forward, and I'm holding shift, and then just drag it across. Like that. And now we've got a perfect animation happening. Cool. Alright, so next thing we got to do is make our rings. So, I'm just going to make a shape layer. So hit control shift again, make a shape layer, maybe about the size. And we come down here, we can delete fill. And we only have a stroke. Now I've set the stroke width to one pixel and maybe color more on the white side. And that's it. And we want to make it to screen. Set T, maybe drop that down to maybe 50% because we want to just be faded. Um, and then we can center this up. So I just turn on title action safe and just drag the shape layer until it's in the center, like that. And then we hit Control D, hit S, maybe scale it up to maybe 130. And hit Control D again, scale it up to 160. Control D one more, hit S, scale it up to maybe 190. So we've got nice four rings. Um, next thing is for this ring, we're just gonna open up the shape contents. So if we come down to stroke we can add a dash and that will add some nice dashes to it and we can just start adjusting these values so maybe and so hit R for the shape layer 4 and hit the stopwatch move forward maybe we want to rotate this minus 45 degrees and that way we get some nice rotation happening during the animation. Okay. And set them to easy E. So hit F9. And we're going to pre-compose these. So right click, pre-compose, call these inner circles. Hit OK. And that's for the inner rings. Now let's do some color correction on this image so get the curves 
Maybe we can add levels and get some distortion happening. Maybe the bulge effect. Okay, so let's play with this curse. So just, just have a play with this. Maybe just drop this bar down. And take away some red. Maybe add some blue. And for this levels effect, we want to crush some of this uh, white. Just a bit, not too much. Let's tweak these values. So something like that. And then for the bulge effect. Um, we can just drag this in here, scale it up. it like 0.2 so we just got some nice bulge effect happening here and that's it uh, let's set this to screen and maybe hit T drop this down a bit maybe 60 percent okay so next thing we have to do is make our uh, outer circles animation. So we're just gonna make another um, shape layer. So control shift, scale this up. And delete the fill. And let's center this up so that it matches with our camera okay so that is looking all right next we can maybe hit T drop this down to maybe 70% control D hit T again maybe 40% and scale it down to maybe 100 nice okay cool Right, so that is looking pretty good. Next thing is gonna make our inner circles. So come here, we can make like a like a big circle here. And this time we're gonna delete the stroke effect and hit this to maybe add. And hit T and just drop that down. Okay, and make sure you drag your anchor tool to the center of this so that it rotates at this pivot point. Okay. And we can start playing with these. So we can make a copy Put one over here, scale it down, and just like maybe put it here. Maybe make another copy and just drag it here, and then duplicate it again. We could scale it up, or maybe scale it down. And duplicate it again, just put one here. And you can randomize the opacity for these, some of these, so maybe 50, or like this one can be like 55, and this one can be like, I don't know, 60. Just randomize it and see what happens. And then we can like duplicate these three control D 
move it up and then just push it on this side so maybe we can have this one like here and I have one this one over there and have this one like further out here and we can push this one here just adding little details just to make it um, a little bit like realistic okay so that's looking nice so we can pre-compose all these shape layers so pre-compose and call this our circles and we can set this to screen and hit R we can rotate it maybe about minus 90 degrees and then we get some rotation happening cool all right so we've got to make some adjustments to this so in order to make an adjustment we have to make an adjustment layer so control y control d control d again we'll call this one out of color We'll call this one camera blur and we'll call this CC cool all right so for the camera blur well, um, we need to add a mask to it so just draw a mask around this and hit F Feather it out and set it to subtract and then add the camera lens blur and then we can just crank this up to maybe like eight pixels or radius whatever <laughs> um yeah and just hit F feather out even just feather it out we can even play with the expansion so hit mm and just push it in here it's looking good and for the outer color we're going to draw another mask maybe just the width of the second ring like about here maybe and set it to subtract again hit f feather it out and we're going to get the curves adjustment and we're just going to start tweaking it so maybe we could go to the red channel drop that down and then maybe add a little bit of blue not too much and then go to green channel and just bump that up but we want to drop the green chan red channel sorry, heavily. And let's see what it looks like. Looks okay. Maybe add a little bit more blue. And just further it out more. Cool. All right, and we've got to do one final step is the color correction. So let's get our color correction effects. So uh, tint curves I like to add the glow effect on top of this so let's get to it so drop that down to maybe 20% and let's play with the RGB channel here maybe take away some red add some blue and we can add the glow and then just drop that down to like 0.2 crank that up and maybe adjust the threshold a bit let's see here all right so this is what it looks like 
Okay, so that looks alright. I mean, like, there's some maybe adjustments we can do, like the color, the length of these, like, sorry, the size of these rings, and yeah, you can just start adjusting some of these stuff. So that's our Dalek eye done. So, uh, thank you everyone. My name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, comment down below if you have any questions. But, until next time, I will see you in the next